Tanya, Drop Dead Gory, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new. Today we have a very exciting video, and it is on this. This is the Sailor Moon palette by Tooth and Nail Cosmetics. Look at it in its glory. Um, other side. It is cruelty free. It is an indie brand um, based on Sailor Moon. You <laughs> cannot go wrong. There are your shadows. Gorgeous. It even comes with a mirror and a little space for a brush. Doesn't come with a brush, but that's always handy. Um, clicks together. It's nice and sleek. Um, it is a really great designed palette in my opinion and it says fighting evil by moonlight winning love by daylight never running from a real fight she is the one named sailor moon um so that's awesome i love sailor moon if you're a sailor moon fan then you need to get your hands on this because <laughs> it's awesome and then this oh boy <laughs> this highlighter this is the moon highlighter and check it out really awesome it comes in this cute little compact and just pop it open there's the shade i'm gonna try to get that for you guys i don't know if you can really see it but um this shade is great it even comes with a nice little mirror as well so today's gonna i'm gonna do this look um for you and I'm going to talk through my first impressions and little review of the product and the company so if you're interested in that um, just keep on watching I'm also going to get into some swatches and comparisons for you um, so just stay tuned if you want to see that as well all right guys so I just have my base on foundation concealer powder um, I prime my eyes with MAC Painterly Paint Pot and then set them and I have my eyebrows done a little bit of contour all those products we listed um, down below because I really just want to focus on the eyeshadow for this look um, so we need a transition color so I'm just gonna go in with tried and true can you guess makeup geek peach smoothie um, and this is a Luxie 205 tapered blending brush tap off the excess just go into that crease and blend away All right, and now I'm going to go in with Sigma E25, and right next to it is Frappe, right there, and just deepen it up just a little bit. We want to work in, we don't want to make too big of a jump, we want to make it the change kind of gradual because we don't want it to be muddy. Um, you guys know that. You, you're not coming to me for makeup advice, are you? No. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to blend that, deepen up that crease. And really lay the groundwork for the shadows we're going to use. And you guys should see my cat. He's laying next to me right now on the bed. And he is so pissed. Because I like ran in. I like, tore open the package for my palette. And I didn't play with him as much as I normally do. I did play with him. And he does get plenty of love. He's spoiled rotten. But he didn't get all the love that he normally gets. Okay, so that's good for now. Definitely some definition. And that's what we want. So now we're gonna go in with the palette. And I think we're gonna go in with Sailor Venus first. Which is this really pretty pastel orange color. Um, it almost mimics peach smoothie um, and the warm tones in this are just phenomenal and I didn't want to put a white base down like um, NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk because I really wanted to see what the shadows could do on their own I haven't decided if I should go in with Fix Plus yet 
Um, but just this with my finger, it looks really pretty. The shine, it almost has like a like a white reflect in it. It's really, really gorgeous. Um, and I just lay all my, most of my lid shades down with my finger because I find I get the most pigment anyway. And I don't want to dirty a brush. So, you know, she each his own. Um, now, that was on the inner third of my lid. Now I'm going to go in with Sailor Mars. You guessed it. This is going to be like everyone's favorite color in this palette is that red shade that everybody is just dying over um so of course i have to use it and i'm going to use a royal and lang nickel medium eye shader brush i got this in my ipsy bag but i think you can get these guys at walmart if i'm not mistaken i want to look into more of their brushes because i really like this it's pink it's cute and it does a really good job so i am just going to pick up a little bit of that red shade tap off the excess and see what happens. <laughs> okay, so not just, I, that was being timid because um, I'm scared. But not to say the palette is, the palette's no good and not pigmented. I just, for lid shades, I really do like using my fingers. So I was kind of scared with the brush. So I'm just gonna go in with my finger and I mean, <laughs> Look at that. Like, you can't deny that. You just can't. And if you put Fix Plus on it, I'm sure that it would pick up even more. But why am I going to do that when I can just use my finger, you know? And don't worry, we'll be cleaning all that up. I really like this red with my green eyes. Like normally they say purples really complement green eyes, but I guess because red is like the opposite of green, it looks, it looks really nice so far in my own humble opinion. All right, so I'm gonna go back in with my Sigma E25 and I'm gonna go into Coco Bear by Makeup Geek. Tap off the excess and then I'm just gonna go in and deepen up that crease. Just right above where we put that Sailor Mars shade. So this is what we have so far. And now I'm going to go in with Sigma E25 again, and I'm going to go into, I believe this is Bitten, this cranberry shade by Makeup Geek. It goes perfectly with this burgundy shade from to the nail it's crazy all right so if things start to look a little bit muddy just go into your transition shade so i'm going in with peach smoothie and with ever transition shade that you have if you have the morphe 350 Etc. Etc. Go in with that, whatever transition shade that you like. And start to blend that out. I have hooded eyes, so sometimes it is hard for you to see my crease. Because it all kind of, you know, overlaps. So sometimes it's really hard to see. So 
once I have mascara and eyeliner and everything on, um, it should really come together. Just blending until the cows come home. All right, and now I'm gonna go in with Frappe and I'm gonna do the lower lash line. And this is a Mona, Vera Mona brush. Um, I also got this from Ipsy. I love getting brushes from Ipsy. I have that as like one of my number one preferences because a lot of times they're really good brushes. And in my opinion, you can never have too many brushes and because we all know we're too lazy to clean them and you can never have any too many good brushes all right so i'm really gonna go in and smoke this out perfect and now i'm gonna go in with a little bit of bitten again that cranberry shade and i'm gonna take that on the outer third of my lower lash line. So don't go as far in. I really am looking to get more Makeup Geek shadows. Definitely wanna place an order soon. Yeah, that's bringing it together. I know I look a hot mess right now, but this is the real girl's kind of makeup, okay? Just keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, that really makes it look grungy and smoky and I really am digging it. All right, so I've decided that before I continue on with the eyes, I need some more contour because these lights are washing me out and also this, with a strong eye look like this, you definitely do want to balance it out with contour. So this is the It Cosmetics My Sculpted Face Palette. They just came out with a new version of this. It's the same palette, um, I'm pretty sure. It just has different packaging. And I am going in with this top color right here. And this is a Sigma F23 Soft Angled Contour. I love this brush. So just dip in there, tap off the excess. And really just sculpt out those cheekbones because with a grunge eye look this i look like this you know I'm trying to look dead so really hollow out my face as much as you can i'm just kidding but this brush really makes it super easy to get into all those angles and just Contour them up. All right, so that looks better. I could probably stand for some bronzer, but right now I'm digging this. All right, guys, so now we're gonna be going in with blush. This is the Tartlet um, Celebrated Blush. It's one of their Amazonian Clay 24 Hour Blushes. It was just like a special one, and they do still have it. It's this really beautiful, light, peachy shade. Um, and I'm gonna be using a crown brush. This is just their Dua Fiber Blush Brush. Just get it in there. And I really think that this blush is really going to com um, complement the undertones of this eyeshadow. This blush is great. It's, it stays on all day. You practically can't go too heavy handed. Um, and it just leaves a nice, really light flush. Um, if you're fair and you find that a lot of blushes are too pigmented, give this one a go. It is a godsend. So as you can see, I'm just really, like, I'm really going in, but I don't know. Personally, I like that with blushes because you can't really overdo it. And if you do, I mean, it's really hard to overdo it, you know what I mean? Um, so I love that, and I think it really did a nice job. Because I'm going to go, because I did a heavy look with the eyes, and I do want to do a heavier lip, um... You know, you don't want the blush to be too strong, so I think that's a perfect choice. Now I'm going to be going in with liquid liner. This is the Physician's Formula Eye Booster um, Lash Serum in Ultra Black. Make sure that you get Ultra Black um, or else you're screwed. 
I first heard about this from the Taylor. Um, you should definitely check out her channel. She is a pale princess. Um, she has a lot of good tips. Uh, so I'm going to put my eyeliner on. <sighs> Alright, so I just did a regular, um, your standard run-of-the-mill eyeliner. I didn't do a wing. Um, and now I'm going to be going in with Benefit They're Real, just a little travel size. This look would really be accentuated with false lashes. I just, I guess I need more practice, but fake eyelashes and I just don't seem to be getting along. I guess I have kind of small-ish eyes, so I usually have to cut them, um, and then that's kind of annoying, and then I have hooded eyes, so a lot of times they... I feel like they don't sit right as compared to people who don't have hooded eyes, if that makes any sense. But I do want to start wearing more fake lashes, and I do have some. Um, I do use them for special effects looks and like character looks and things like that. But really, I just have to practice. So if you guys have any recommendations for um, beginner lashes, I've tried Ardell Demi Wispies. Um, I don't know, or hooded eyes, if you have hooded eyes, maybe you could leave recommendations for um, good lashes that are also cruelty free, like no mink lashes or anything. Um, that would be wonderful. See, I do really like that look. Like, I like the look of piled on lashes. I just have the hardest time with them, and I've tried tweezers, and I've tried using my fingers and letting the glue dry a little bit. I don't know, I just can't seem to hack it. Or I can, it just takes me like half an hour to put them on. And I'm saying I'll struggle with that. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below. All right, so now the moment we've all been waiting for. This highlighter in the shade Moon, it is so stinking cute and gorgeous. I don't own anything like this and this is, it looks white. It's really hard to photograph. You can tell even on their Instagram, and I think they've even said it, like they had to position the camera all sorts of ways to kind of really get the sheen. But this is beautiful, <laughs> have no doubt. And hopefully it does show up on the cheekbones. It's a first impression, so let's hope. All right, so this is the Sigma High Cheekbone Highlighter. It is F03, so we're just gonna go in there. You guys, I'm so excited. This highlighter is beautiful. Just tap off the excess. Holy shit. Whoa. You guys, I have to tap this out with my fingers. That's how pigmented this is. This is whoa i am just taking the tiniest bit tapping it off and i'm gonna go over that because i like a strong highlight that is wild you guys, this is amazing. Holy crap. I'm definitely checking out some more of their highlighters. This is like a genuine reaction. I'm also, I'm only picky. I'm going to take this in the inner corners of my eyes. Okay, so for lips, I'm going to be going in with uh, Jeffree Star Unicorn Blood. I've wanted this for so, so long, um, and I finally got my hands on it and at one of his um, recent restocks, and I'm shaking it up. Um, I haven't even put it on yet, so I think it really go well with this look, so I want to use it for this look. And I'm just going to go in with some Pixie by Petra Glow Mist. I practically bathe in this stuff. Told you. Let that dry. And 
here is a close up of the final look. I really love this brand. I can't wait to make another purchase, especially the highlighters. And I think they're coming out with a second Sailor Moon palette, and I'm really excited about that too. Um, I'm definitely going to be purchasing it. So I hope that you guys liked it. Leave your comments, feedback, um, all that down below. Let me know future video ideas. If you have any indie brands that you are really into or you want me to try, also leave that down below. And just remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone.